standing on the mouth of hell and it is gonna swallow me whole. And it'll choke on me. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Giles, 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 where is Giles? Is Giles okay? Is Giles alive? Is he dead? What's happening with him? Where is Giles? Giles, 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 he's my favorite character. Of course, I'm so excited to see what happened to him. I'm so scared for him. I could never, never forget about him. I love him and he's my favorite, favorite guy and I want to know so badly what happened to him. And if anybody else tells you otherwise that I have forgotten about him, about my favorite guy, they're a dirty liar. Don't listen to them. Anyway, welcome back guys. Today we're going to be watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 7 episode 10. This next episode is called Bring on the Night and we better see Giles in this episode because honestly I do feel like he's alive. Like somehow he managed to survive that. I don't know how but it would just feel kind of weird if he died right then and there and we didn't see him in the next episode. Also, because the council definitely knows something about the first, they just were not sharing it with Buffy. I feel like we need to get that information, like not just us as the audience, but also Buffy needs to know what the council knew. And the only way for that to happen is through Giles, because it does seem like the rest of them are all just freaking dead. Like they were just blown to smithereens. So that's kind of crazy. But yeah, this is what makes me think that Giles is alive because... We'll see him hopefully this episode and then maybe he can give a call to Buffy and be like, hey, this is what has been going on. This is what we know. And then Buffy can be like, yeah, we met the first. We know it's here. Help us or something like that. But yeah, I'm just so happy that Buffy knows that it's the first. Like she finally remembered and put it together. I do really wonder if they're gonna mention what happened with Angel. You know, Buffy being like, yeah, I thought like... She did say she fought these monsters before, so I wonder if she's gonna explain it to the rest of the gang. Like, oh, y'all remember what was going on with Angel back in season three? This is the same thing. So I'm so incredibly happy about that. I was getting so frustrated with the whole thing. So yeah, I'm just very, very excited to see what this episode is going to be like, especially with that uber vamp thing coming out of the ground under the school the previous episode. So yeah. I'm just very, very excited and just curious like what this uber vamp is going to be like. Does it have more powers? Is it like faster or stronger than a regular vampire or what? I'm, I'm just so looking forward to that aspect of it. Also, I thought long and hard about this and I'm just gonna let go of the Spike bathroom scene. Like I just, <laughs> I want to enjoy it again. Like I want to enjoy Spike again as a character. I want to root for him and I feel like it's just so exhausting just thinking about that all the time, it's just, it, it's not fun for me anymore. And yeah, I don't, just, I don't know. It's so shitty, right? Because I feel like that whole scene was so unnecessary. Like that should not have been put in there. I think it would have been better not to do that overall because they were building up Spike that even without a soul, he's capable of change. He's capable of some sort of human emotions, like not to the fullest extent, but I still thought that they were doing some character developments with him. So for him to just plummet down again, like in such a horrific way, it just kind of doesn't really make sense, you know, because even a psychopath knows the difference between right and wrong. They just don't care about it. Like that's the whole point of it. Like they know that they shouldn't do that, but they just don't care. So like Spike knew what he was doing was wrong in the moment, so I just don't understand why he went with it. Like for the whole, like why did he go through, like he was gonna go through with it, right? Like, so why was he doing that when he realized that Buffy was certainly not into it? And like, because he was feeling guilty, like he cannot feel guilt without a soul, but like he was disgusted by himself when he did that and he decided to get a soul so that he can atone and just be good enough for Buffy. Like if, if they were gonna make all of that, why did they do that scene? Like, they could have done that scene, but then make Spike evil after that. You know, it just, it just, the two things don't work for me. And also, I feel like it would have been even more interesting to prop Spike up, where like he is a soulless demon, but he is still a more caring and generous guy than Warren a human with an actual soul. Like they could have really contrasted the two characters. Like it could have been so interesting. And instead they just, 
it's fine. I'm letting it go. <laughs> this is me letting it go. I'm just going to let this out of my system and I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I just want to let you guys know that I'm just letting it go for my own sanity and for my own enjoyment of the show because I can't do this anymore. It just feels wrong to let it go without saying anything. It feels wrong to let it go anyway because it's such a horrific thing that he did. But I feel like... <laughs> I'm done. I'm not gonna mention it again. I'm just gonna focus on the present and enjoy Spike with a soul and see what we're gonna do with him as well. Honestly, it would be hilarious if he just died in this episode. Like, finally, I'm like, hey, I'm back on his side. I'm excited to watch him grow as a person or as a vampire with a soul. And then the first is just like, actually, this is the episode I'm gonna kill him because I don't need him anymore. I bet him, the uber vamp is here. Spike can die. <laughs> but it is truly just for my own enjoyment of the show so yeah that's that's where i'm at so yeah sorry for the long intro but i'm excited to get into this episode and if you guys are interested you can watch the full unedited reaction to this stuff on my patreon the link is gonna be in the description down below and let's just jump straight into it it's a loop like the money <laughs> I'm doomed to replace these windows for all eternity probably yeah, yeah maybe we should just board these things up until things are less hell -mouthy. Okay, Nothing. so until the end of time? They claim to be the original evil, the one that came before anything else. That's Please, true. Bad, bad, bad. Does it make you horny? <laughs> I'm terrified. Whatever. Wasn't a lie. <laughs> Whatever. I wish Sleeping Ugly would come too. He's been out all night. Yeah, so he was just starting ugly. to squeal when the spooky Ooh, slot attack. Dawn hates him for sure. Dan's or something? Is she gonna slap him? Wake up, bitch! Or maybe he's in a fugue state. Done. What? <laughs> Let her slap him! Give me the Watcher's Codex again. Can I get you anything else, baby? How about some tea? <laughs> this is the meanest <laughs> show in existence. Shut the fuck up. Every time I think it's the last time we see her. You can't win against this thing. Not if you don't rest. Stop. Rest Stop. in the grave? Is that what it means? You need to wake up. Wait, is she actually asleep? You're dreaming. Buff, wake up. Oh. Oh, so it was like real choice, right? Well, like real as in just in her imagination, not the actual first. There was nothing. Mm hmm Nothing for sure. Oh god, where are they taking him? Go on. Oh, I don't like it. Kick a dolly when he's down. That was always your style. Yes, bitch! Yes! Oh my god! Been lying in wait for his moment since before the bug. There, there, pet. Soon as the moon comes, you'll have your carnage. Oh my god, when is the moon coming? Little girls test so easily, like pink paper. Till then, we'll have our way with this one. Oh no, poor Spike. I'm so cool, I miss her so much. Oh, Spike, I'm so sorry. I was just having a great time looking at Drew the first. <laughs> and this poor boy is getting tortured. I'm just having the time of my life. That's on me. That's my bad. Oh my god, what a start to the fucking episode. I'm obsessed. I love this so much. I can't wait to see more. Where's Giles? <laughs> Why is he still not in it? Also, if I blew out your ears, I'm so sorry. <laughs> was that done? Oh, it was no, Anya. Something. Maybe if you threw hot water on him? Good thinking. Whoa, I'm hey, obsessed I... with them. That is so fun. They need to go on a rampage together. No, I was going to ask. <coughs> oh, God, I was awake. Look at him drooling in his sleep. He got it all over his face. Silky Andrew. <laughs> Drooled all over yourself. No, huh. she didn't say that. <laughs> you saved me. Yeah. For the time being. Why does she have to be so nice all the time? There's blood on this. Lots. Looks like the first made another sacrifice. Ooh, I wonder who could it be? The seal could have been activated. Don is on something in this episode. I had nothing to do with that. Thanks for clearing that up. Because otherwise we might have thought you're up to no good here at the satanic manhole cover. You <laughs> killed your best friend. He did. What a bitch. He's in a place of joy and peace. He told me. No, nobody told you. You got tricked by a fake ghost. First was camped underground last time I found him, but... Was well, really... Hey. Oh, what is he doing here? Is he just back from burying Jonathan? She was. Oh, vomiting and oozing from various places and... Yeah, I remember, so please I remember that. That was on. so funny. 
Apparently somebody left this in the courtyard and I was just returning it. That's why I also look so dirty. I try. Oh, oh. you won't believe it. The same I thing happened to us. Well, I'll be there tomorrow. No problem. 100% uh, ooze free. Good. Uh-huh. Oh, no, I don't like this. What does he want with her? Yeah, yeah. It's good that your spider senses are tingling because he is up to no good. Also, Dawn's hair is so fucking ugly. Why is, like, only the top layer cut? Who thought of that? Like, what is that? Why are there, like, two curls and the rest is just straight? I felt it. It was like... <laughs> oh, God. Is Bilo absorbing that? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's the first! That's what we saw in the men's! only make me stronger! Oh my god, is she okay? What the fuck was this? It's still in me, I feel it! No, it's not, it's gone. You're okay. Are you sure? Thanks, puppy. Don't let it make me. Oh god. I won't. I promise, okay? I, I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, sweetie. You're very brave and very strong. You got this. I'll find it. Buffy. Giles. <sighs> Oh, I don't know who these people are, but he's alive and he's here. Sorry to barge in. I'm afraid we have a slight apocalypse. No, thank you. Glad to see nothing's changed. They're all slayers? Potential what? slayers. Oh, huh? There were many more like them all over the world, but um, now there's just a handful, and they're all on their way to Sunnydale. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> They were slayers or slayers to be. Oh my goodness. As well as their watchers. We always feared that this day would come. Oh my god, okay, so what happened here? Against the whole line. It's oh my god. Oh, so this is what started. That's what it wants. Yes. This is so fun. Oh my god. I'm sorry, people are dying. It's fine. And with all the potentials gone and no way of making another, it's the end. No more Slayer. What the hell? Oh my god. Is that even possible? The only record I know was in the council library. What about the council? Oh How yeah, it blew up. <laughs> They're blowing in the wind now. When I learned what was happening, I, I, um, I stole And you blew the council up. See, <laughs> this is what happens when you're all stuffy and repressed. You overreact. Not. <laughs> so much must have been an agent of the first after my must have been council and there's no other way and it cost them their lives <laughs> what are you saying who asked you dude not corporeal it can't touch or fight on its own it only works through those it manipulates okay that's pretty good that helps us a lot there's evil and then there's the thing that created evil the source I love, it, I love it i love it and the hellmouth has no guardian the balance is destroyed. And we're screwed. We saw what it looked like when no one's protecting the Hannah. We need more muscle. That's why we need to find Spike. Yeah, he'll oh. help. You know, if he's not crazy or... Evil. Dead. <laughs> or, you know, all of the above. <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit, Spike. I'm so sorry, bestie. Wait, why would that be anything for him? I'm sorry, vampires don't fucking breathe. What is this? They don't breathe! What is this? Why did he swallow the water? They don't breathe! Hard to kill. Yeah, because he's Try dead! To spill, spill, spill our secrets like sea. I love that the first still talks as if it was actually true. Christmas tree, love. Under it, there was a... Hidden Wait, it's Christmas? Oh, it's Christmas again! It was Christmas in the men's too! Think you'll ever show up for a real visit? The kind where the world isn't about to end. It's he better! Good. So I miss you. I, I miss you too. too. <laughs> I love them so much! I miss them! This is my favorite episode ever! Well, we'll just keep... <laughs> I think she found it. <laughs> Good lord, are you alright? <laughs> Peachy. Except my knee's bent backwards now. Okay. Like a little flamingo. I'm gonna check it out. No, take Charles with you. Let's keep interacting. I missed it so much. <gasps> ah! Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think it might be stronger than a normal vampire. Oh my god. <laughs> 
it's not gonna kill it. Maybe try cutting its head off? I don't think he can survive that, right? Or if it can, we can keep his head separate from its body and then we're good. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Charles, we need you. <laughs> nice bunk. Okay, go, 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 go. Although it is nighttime, so it can follow you, right? <laughs> oh my God, where's Charles? Where did he go? Oh, thank God. Oh, we're so safe. Oh my God. Holy shit. Thank God it hits sunlight. At least that's something. Primordial. Ferociously powerful killing machine, single-minded as animals. They are the vampires that vampires fear. Awesome. Entirely different race, and until this morning, I thought they were a myth. Yep, you were mistaken. How do you plan to research something as ill-defined as the first? I have the best plan ever. Google yeah, it? Yeah, well, I already rechecked the basement. Search for evil. <sighs> Maybe the first just isn't ready for modern technology. Oh, only 900,000 results. Okay, I gotta narrow this down. I'll call you back. <laughs> well, maybe put very evil. That might help. Maybe that'll dwindle it down to 800,000. Yeah, I'm only saying that once you see true evil, you can have some serious afterburn. And then you can't unsee what you saw. He saw the first, didn't he? What kind of movies do you like? Mysteries. I love finding out what's underneath it all at the very end. I did not care for that smile. I know you like a good wriggle and a giggle. A squiggle. You're not she's so great. <laughs> no, but she's doing a great job, and I love it. I'm really not. She was crazier than you. Mm. <laughs> that is so rude. Dad. Take that back. Bad daddy needs a caning. Never learned his. Never changed, Drew. Choose a side. Choose our side. Yeah, he's not going to do it's that. Delicious. <sighs> Yeah, that's not a great sales pitch. Oh, jeez, that looks awful. Buffy, what happened? Stop doing this to me, I'm begging you. The last thing you need now is uh, one of helpful mom's guilt trips. I'll get you some ice. No. Oh, she doesn't want her to go. Everyone's counting on me. Well, they do that. And I'm sorry, Buffy, but these, these friends of yours, they put too much pressure on you. They always have. Yeah, they kind of do. Evil is a part of us. All of us. It's natural. And no one can stop that. No one can stop nature, not even... You haven't met Buffy yet. She will stop it, for sure. I, I want you to know that I'm, I'm really sorry for letting you down. You know, here, before, with the magic going on. No, and... it's okay, sweetie. I wish I could help out. No one expects you to make everything right. So... I yeah, I no one expects you either, Buffy. Well, they do. Oh, it's... Oh. I went over to the dark side, but just to pick up a few things, and now I'm back. I've learned. I'm good again. Yeah. Oh, my... When were you ever good? When were you good before? Okay, <laughs> technically never. Touche. <laughs> I love that we and Buffy are on the same page. Guys? And yeah. we'll split. Why? She was the most level-headed one. I thought if anyone, we could count on her to not do something stupid. Oh, did the first mess with her? If that happened, I think maybe her head got separated from her body. Damn, she was the one I liked so far as well. Oh no. Oh, I guess the change just ripped. That's gruesome. <laughs> Cut the mat. What was it? Crunch! Oh, <laughs> well, that was an idea. I think you just made it more excited. <laughs> Fucking hell, stop scaring me! Okay, nice. Okay, keep running. Don't look back, just keep running. Honestly, it's really crazy to see Buffy being so bloody and bruised. Like, it happens so rarely. Oh my god! Buffy! Don't you dare end it there. Okay, good. Holy shit. Oh god almighty. Yeah, you said it, Xander. You said it. Do you know why you're alive? 
Well, I don't know why she's alive still. That's very intriguing. Because I wish it. But why? You know why I wish it. Oh, tell me. Because I'm not done with you. Give it up. That's not anything specific. Tell me. I want to know. You can't pull this puppet's strings anymore. And what makes you think you have a choice? What makes you think you will ever be any good at all in this world? She does. <laughs> that's so cute. So that's enough for him. She believes in me. So he can believe in himself. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh no. This, this is. Yeah. Buffy was our plan. There is no backup. Giles, she looks bad. She does. Oh, she should not be hearing this, I don't think. But what do we do if she can't fight? If she can't beat this thing? Oh god, poor Buffy. I don't know what? if we can fight it. You're right. Oh? We can't run. Can't hide. Oh, that's so scary. We're tired. I'm beyond tired. I'm beyond scared. I'm standing on the mouth of hell and it is gonna swallow me whole. And it'll choke on me. Oh my god, yes, bitch. They think we're gonna wait for the end to come. Like we always do. Well, you're gonna meet it head on? They want an apocalypse. Well, we'll give them one. Oh, I love this. Anyone else who wants to run, do it now. Because we just became an army. Oh, what a fucking speech. I love it. We just declared war. You just became like a true, true leader. We won't just face our worst fears. We will seek them out. We will find them and cut out their hearts one by one until the first shows itself for what it really is. Oh my God, a coward! And I'll kill it myself. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm excited for that. There is only one thing on this earth more powerful than evil. And that's us. Hell yeah, bitch, hell yeah. Any questions? How are you so fucking cool? It's my one and only question. <laughs> what a fucking episode. I love this so much. This was amazing. Oh, it's so good. I honestly am digging this storyline so much. So yeah, I'm just super fucking hyped for the rest of the season. Like, <laughs> I'm getting so close to the halfway point. So let's take a moment of silence to mourn that. But other than that, I'm very, very excited for the rest of this season. I think this is amazing. I love this story so much and it's so incredibly interesting. And I just can't wait to see how it's all gonna go down. But before I get into like doing my proper little review thing, I wanna talk about something because I thought about it during the episode and it freaked me out. But I, I think it's definitely not real. But for a second, I thought, what if Giles is the first? You know, when they didn't show what happened to him, right? Like we had that one flashback of like him going into the apartment and then the guy was like, it started. I assumed we would then see how he got away. But when they didn't show that, I was like, fuck, what if he is the first? But then Giles said that the first cannot touch or anything, like he doesn't have a physical form. And we definitely have seen him touch books, you know, like he threw stuff on the floor. And I think he was also the one who knocked. So. Yeah, I was like, okay, I think we're good. Unless the first is lying about that. But then I was, after that, you know, I had that idea. I was watching Drew and Drew never touched Spike. And I'm pretty sure the first hasn't touched Spike this whole time either. So I think we're safe. Like, I think Giles is Giles. But, you know, with the whole, like, it can only take the form of a dead person. I was like, did he actually fucking die? Is that why they didn't show it to us? So they could do this fake out. But I think we're safe. You know, I, I, after that, I was also watching Giles, but he never actually touched a human. So I don't know if there's like a thing where it can touch objects, but not people. I don't fucking know, but I scared myself so hard with that. But I think it's Giles. I think it's fine. However, it's very, very weird that we didn't see how he managed to survive that. Like they ended an episode on that cliffhanger where an axe was coming at his head and we don't know what happened. And he didn't even say anything about it. That's weird, right? Like, I feel like that's sus. And if he's not the first, which I hope he isn't because that means he's fucking dead and I will jump off a cliff. But then why didn't we get to see what happened in that scene? Did something else happen? You know what I mean? I feel like there's something there that we're not privy to. And I feel like it could possibly be very important. So yeah, I'm very, very curious about that. Like, oof, I hope they follow up on that because 
hell is going on? Why did we not see how he got out of that? I feel like that's so important. Like, I'm genuinely just assuming they're going to do something with it. Otherwise, it's kind of bad storytelling. Is it? I mean, yeah, it is. It's very much so is. Because I feel like the whole Giles showing up here is a fun reveal. Like, it would be fun. You know that there was like an episode in between where we didn't know what happened to him. And then the next time we see him, he's actually showing up here. So we're not cutting back to that same scene. That's good writing. Bad writing is following that up with out any sort of flashbacks or even just like something from the character to be like yeah someone tried to cut my head off this is how i got away right that's bad writing isn't it if if we never get to see that or never get to hear about it like how he got away with that so yeah i really hope that that they're setting something up with that because otherwise i, I hate it <laughs> like what but yeah i just wanted to quickly talk about it because i thought of it and i wanted to say during the episode but there, like i had so much to say i was like i I cannot fit this in. I cannot fit it in between like tiny little pauses between conversations. But yeah, I just wanted to say it very quickly now because then I would forget because I'm so forgetful, especially when it comes to Giles. Yikes. But yeah, back to the episode. Up to you. Yeah, so like this show is kind of okay. Like it was okay, you know, like oh, nothing special. I loved it. I loved it so much. Just seeing Buffy come to terms at the end like I, that is not how I expected the episode to end you know with like all this pressure being put on Buffy Giles expecting everything from her to protect these new slayerettes to defeat the vampire the uber vamp to fight against the evil just to be a leader in general then of course her job at the school as well like all those kids are also counting on her like she's under a tremendous amount of stress and so much pressure and just so much like she has to do a lot within one day as well and when she was you know just sitting in a chair looking completely and utterly broken and then overhearing that conversation between you know Giles and the rest of them I thought she might just give up to a point or something like maybe she'll run away so I didn't expect this huge like yeah fuck this shit I'm done I'm done being scared I'm done running away if they want to fight I'll throw the first blow like fuck it I it was so good honestly fucking amazing and yeah just the whole like seeing Joyce again bitch how many more times how many more times are we gonna say Joyce like why are you keep doing this to me show why are you keep doing this to me every time I'm like that's it this is the final time like am I gonna think that again I think I'm also thinking it again. Like, maybe this was the final time we see her. But also, there was no, like, specific goodbye between fake Joyce and Buffy. But then I guess it was also always when she was asleep. So I'm thinking that maybe just because she was super tired this episode, that's why she kept dreaming about her. So maybe that's not gonna happen again, because she will just sleep during the night. And then it's fine. Like, she'll know that it's definitely a dream, because she isn't just randomly falling asleep at the desk or something. I don't know. I don't know. Is it the last time we see her? I will talk myself into thinking this is the last time we see her. So yeah, if she ever shows up again, I'm going to be just as surprised again because I think this is the last time we've seen Joyce. But yeah, those were some heartbreaking scenes just seeing her. Please. Oh, it's so sad. The other thing that was less sad was true. I love her so much and it was so cool to see well it's not her obviously but the first still acts like true in a lot of the ways so it was brilliant and perfect and i had so much fun like it was amazing i loved all of her scenes it was so cool to see her again like oh it's just amazing so clearly the first wants spike to be on its team but why? That is my biggest question. Did it ever... Wait, I think it also tried to recruit Angel, right? Or was it just... Yeah, I think it was trying to make Angel lose his soul again. But I guess that's not a thing with Spike, right? Because Spike isn't cursed. He wanted it? I mean, I, I don't even know how that works. So does that mean Spike can't lose his soul, right? Like there isn't a stipulation where it's like oh if you have a true amount of happiness you lose your soul i mean i guess not because that was what jenny's people originally came up with because they wanted it to be a punishment right where it's like as soon as he is not played by the guilt what of what he did to people that's when he so will leave him again but i don't think that's a thing with spike so i guess the first one is angel to turn back into angelus 
And then with him being Angelus, he probably would have joined the first east side. Or maybe not. I mean, Angelus doesn't really follow the rules or follow people around. But with Spike, because he cannot be turned back into a soulless demon, I guess the first wants him to join it and doesn't want him dead. So that's very interesting, I guess. It also somehow didn't want Buffy dead. Like, that was very, very interesting. You know that the Uber Vamp had a chance to actually kill Buffy, but it decided not to. Like, they did a... No, it, it wouldn't have thought that she was dead, right? Because it is a vamp... Like, he isn't a vampire vampire, but it still has, like, similar attributes to a degree. I mean, it liked the blood as well. And it hates the sun and can go out during the daytime. So you would assume that it has superior hearing too, and it would have heard Buffy's heart still beating. So why didn't it kill her? That's very intriguing, right? Did it just want to send a message that, oh, if I could, I could kill your slayer, so what are you going to do now? Or, I mean, I guess it knows that if Buffy dies, like, I'm pretty sure if Buffy dies, there would be no new slayer called because, like, whatever the essence of that is, it went over to Faith. So I think Faith has to die for there to be come a new slayer right because clearly there was no new slayer after she died at the end of season five because i think we would have heard about it by now, especially by now you know when slayers are being targeted which is so interesting right like i love this entire concept that these are slayers in like potential slayers like they could have gotten to be slayers instead of buffy well, probably not instead of buffy because she turned into a slayer a long time ago Maybe Faith too, like, this is like the actual new generation. So yeah, it's very, very intriguing. And I just love that they're here. It's so cool. Like, I wonder how they took it. Because I think it's one thing to take it as like, that you're actually the slayer. Like, someone comes up to you and it's like, hey, you're super strong now. You have superpowers, but you are going to have to kill demons. Whereas it's like, hey, you might get superpowers one day. But at the moment, you're not superpowered, but demons are coming after you. So... Have fun, you know? Or I guess, are they like Kendra was? Because Kendra was working her whole life to become a slayer. But then Buffy and Faith were just slayers out of nowhere, I think. Like, I don't think Faith grew up to be become a slayer. I think she just became a slayer and then they found her. And then they were like, hey, this is what you are. So I wonder if these girls were also just living their lives unknowingly about these things and then Giles just showed up at their house and was like hey you could be a slayer one day not right now though and let's get out of here because you're in danger so yeah I absolutely love this like this is so fascinating and interesting so yeah I'm very excited to see where they're gonna take this like are we gonna actually teach these slayerettes how to fight like maybe Dawn can help as well because she knows how to fight with like human strength just like the regular human strength so that could be really cool and yeah just have them take part in the fighting as well and just how about Buffy because she fucking needs the help oh my god oh also the Willow stuff oh man I felt so bad for her like her hair went black again and that was inside of her and then just her crying on the floor it's like I can still feel it in me don't let let it make me hurt people again my poor baby, she's so traumatized. I feel so bad for her. Like, she's trying really so hard to use magic again and to control it. And, oh man, I'm assuming, even though it was fake, I'm sure that some part of her is still kind of fucked up about the stuff help girl said to her, you know, about like, oh, I saw the future, you're gonna kill everyone. So maybe that's also messing with her a little bit, like makes her a little bit more scared to use magic. So... Yeah, that's, that's interesting as well. Like, I'm enjoying this struggle Willow is facing and this journey she's on. I'm assuming it's going to lead to her actually mastering her powers at some point. Like, maybe something crazy is going on and this is the only thing she can do just to use magic and she will finally feel confident enough in her skills and her ability to keep her sanity and to keep control and she will become the most powerful witch you've ever seen but yeah i'm very much so enjoying her arc as well i'm loving this buffy arc too it's just so cool to see her becoming a real true leader like of course she has been the leader of the group this whole time like sure at the beginning giles was helping out a lot too but at the end of the day, she was a slayer. She had final say in things. She was always the one who was trying to come up with plans and people looked to her for plans. But I feel like with all these new people here as well, 
this is truly the time for her to just to accept herself as well as a leader and just make all the decisions and to try and know what's best to do. So I think that's very, very intriguing and very exciting. And I really love this for her. Like, I think this is going to be an amazing and emotional journey for Buffy. And I'm excited to see it. Oh, and the principal. I'm excited to learn more about him as well. Like, he is acting like a massive creep. And I'm excited to find out why it is. Like, his little speech about, like, facing true evil. Yeah, I'm assuming he was talking about the first. And is probably working for it. And trying to maybe psych Buffy out. I'm, I'm really unsure what his like purpose is and his place is within Buffy's life and how that's going to go in the long run. I guess maybe he could also just be trying to divide Buffy's attention, you know, just like have her come to school all the time and just like, you know, make it feel like Buffy has to do this so she can keep her job. And it's just giving her like a lot of other things to like shift her focus or like make her not be able to focus solely on what's actually really important. So I guess that could be something. I mean, it's kind of lame in a way. Just not evil enough, you know? But like, maybe this is just like the first step of like dividing Buffy's attention and then just doing crazier and crazier things as time goes on. I'm just very excited to see where that story will go as well and how Buffy will feel when she finds out that the principal was a bad guy this whole time. But yeah, this was a great episode with some amazing faces in it. I mean, as much as I hate it and it hurts me, I love seeing Joyce again. I love seeing Drew and I'm just so happy Giles is here. Like that was such a surprise that he was just suddenly here. Like I didn't think we were gonna get him in Sunnydale. Like I thought, oh, maybe he could come back for the finale or like for the last couple of episodes. And up until then, maybe we'll just see him in England or maybe just hear his voice over the phone. So this was a huge surprise. I love it so much. I really wonder, oh my God, I didn't even think of that, how dumb I am. But I really wonder if he's gonna stay here. Like, is he gonna be in the last 11, 12 episodes of the season? Oh my God, then... I'm winning. If that happens, I'm the luckiest girl alive because that would be amazing. I mean, I guess he could still leave to recruit even more Slayer ads if there are any out there. Like, okay, I actually don't remember if he said that these three are the last ones or there are more somewhere along the way. He just doesn't know who they are yet. So I guess that could be the thing. Like he goes and recruits more of them and then we see him every other or every other other episode. But I still feel like this is such a good sign that he's here. So yeah, I just really, really hope we get to see him in most, if not all the episodes for the rest of the season. I love having him back. So yeah, as I said, fantastic episode. Love it so much. I'm so excited for the next one and for the rest of this season. It's gonna be one hell of a ride. It's one hell of a finale or final season. And I'm just having a great, great time. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, a huge, huge shout out to my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone clipped my...